when you're making an assessment as a situation is developing around you as to what you're going to do, the last area here, avoidance, is obviously a choice. That's fight or flight. Unfortunately, if you were never switched on in the first place, your chances of seeing a situation that's happening around you develop and change, which is the evaluation, will never be there. So unless you're permanently switched on, which is aware, you get no chance to evaluate any change in that surroundings so that at the, the final point with your avoidance you can say, right, I'll, I've got to get out of here or I've got to fight. All right? One of the problems with teaching awareness is that it's, it's impossible to stay switched on all the time. I'll pinch one of Jeff line, Jeff's lines here. Uh, Jeff says that if tomorrow I told you I was going to drop you in the jungle, you'd be dressed for the occasion and you'd be switched on because it's a bad place to be. Right. But in our normal daily lives, we're so familiar with it that we just don't switch on all the time. Now, there are, there are ways of dealing with this. Anybody who's done uh, an advanced driving course or a security tactical driving course, one of the principal features of that is what they call commentary driving. Now, commentary driving is designed to actually force you to concentrate on what's happening in front of you, behind you, and at the side of you. You actually have to verbalise the journey as you're doing it. What you see ahead, what you see behind, what you see happening at the side of the road, what you're doing, the speed you're doing, the conditions. And what you're doing all the time is having a rolling commentary of this. It does two things. It keeps you totally aware of what's going on around you, but because you verbalise it, what happens is it stops, you, it stops other thoughts getting in. You can't think about something else when you're doing this commentary driving. Now, after doing that in a car, if you were, if you were doing a, a security driving course, eventually you can stop the verbal commentary, but what happens is subliminally and subconsciously, you still keep the commentary going. You still stay very switched on. You're looking ahead of you, not just at the end of the bonnet, but really round that next corner. You're totally aware of what's going on around you. Now, one of the problems in normal daily life is that we're not taught to do that. We get up in the morning, we get in the car, we drive around, uh, and we really switch off because things are so, so familiar to us. We walk down the street, the street might be dark at night, might be a group of lads over there. But really, unless it was very, very threatening as an environment, we just wouldn't switch on. We stay in what's called condition white. And condition white is, is switched off. Now, condition white is part of a colour code system that was uh, developed by a chap called Jeff Cooper who was a combat pistol instructor in the States. Um, and what he found was when he was training people that what they were trying to do when a situation developed was make decisions. And we touched on this in the, uh, in the first pavement arena is that that's the wrong time to be making decisions. What you have to have is something that gives you action triggers. Now having a system of colour codes will do that. Now condition white, which is your bottom condition, is as I say switched off. And that's a condition where we should never be in. The condition up from that is condition yellow. And that really is the condition that we should be in all the time. What it means is that we're switched on. We're not paranoid. What we've developed is a system, maybe through commentary walking, or as, as we're actually driving, doing the commentary uh, driving, and we've practiced this for maybe two or three weeks. Um, you're just going out on a normal daily routine, but you're keeping this commentary going with yourself all the time so that you're actually getting total awareness, 360 degrees of what's happening around you. Eventually, you don't have to articulate it, you can stop. But what it does, it keeps you switched on. You'll see things developing and situations changing ahead of you. You'll be aware of what's going on behind you. You'll be more, more aware of people around you. That condition, which is a subliminal awareness, not paranoia, is condition yellow. And that's where we should be all the time. Now, if we're walking down the street, we're in condition yellow, we're aware of our surroundings, if those surroundings change, and they change unfavourably, you move to what is called condition orange. And that really is like a thermometer from here, where you've got, if you like, a rising threat level. As when the temperature rises, the thermometer, the fluid in the thermometer goes up. When you see a threat changing, and now this is the evaluation side. Condition yellow is this, is this constant awareness. That awareness allows you to evaluate any change in the situation that raises your then colour code to condition orange. Avoidance then will come on this last area here, which is condition red. 
And that really we know as fight or flight. And you actually have to get a visualisation of these colours in your mind. And by doing that, changing from one colour to another will give you the actual triggers that you need for action. So this takes away decision making, right? You're subliminally switched on, you'll see changes in your environment, the environment itself might actually be threatening, in which case you're automatically switched on. Right? And from orange, if you've seen a change in your situation that you are unhappy with, the next condition is red, which is fight or flight. So if we now think about this personal security in terms of the thermometer, where we've got this rising and falling threat level and our reaction to it, what we need to do is maintain that sort of image alongside this pyramid as we develop the different subject matter that we're going to go through. From personal security, obviously we're looking at attack scenarios. This will be determined by being aware, being able to evaluate the changing circumstances. From here, we're looking at the different type of attacks that we're likely to be facing.